Hello and welcome. I'm Craig Vogel, Product Manager here at Stave, and today I'm going to show you how our new punch-out solutions connect Stave Procurement and ServiceNow with Amazon Business to simplify and accelerate your procurement pay process. We're excited to bring Punch-Out, which is a procurement industry standard offered by all major procurement software and vendors today, to the ServiceNow platform. But before we get into the demo, I want to talk about Punch-Out and how it helps organizations with their purchasing processes. Punch-Out has been around for over 20 years and is simply a standardized method of exchanging information between procurement software that the buyers use and software used by vendors. One challenge that many procurement teams face is ensuring that they have access to accurate information from their vendors. This challenge occurs at multiple points from outdated product information and static catalogs to time-consuming ordering processes and finally with gaps in reporting capabilities. Stave Punch-Out Solutions solve these problems by connecting you directly to your vendors using an industry standard integration all through ServiceNow. To give you a sense of how popular Punch-Out is in the procurement world, Amazon Business currently supplies thousands of companies with the items they need to operate, and most of these organizations are using Punch-Out connectors. So let's get into the demo and take a look at how our Punch-Out integration seamlessly handles Amazon Business requests and purchases using Stave Procurement as a requester, a purchaser, and an accounts payable clerk. The first step of the punch out process is the purchase request. I'm now logged into state procurement as a request user with the punch out connector installed. I can go to my catalog, see a new category for punch out catalogs with an item for Amazon business, where I can select the item and I moved over to the Amazon business site and logged into my company's Amazon business account. I can search for any items that I need to request, add these items to a cart. When I click submit these items for approval, we pull the request information back into state procurement, create a purchase request and put it into a workflow and approval process. As you can see here, this request is less than a thousand, so it's been automatically approved. I can scroll down as a requester, see all the line item information. I can edit my request as well. And that's the end of the first step as a requester. The next step in the punch out process involves the purchasing team. I'm now logged into state procurement as a purchasing user where I can view a list of approved purchase requests. I can select one of these requests see that it's approved, view all of the information that we pulled through from Amazon, and I can create a purchase order for this request. When the purchase order is created, it's put into the standard purchase order workflow. I can see here that it's still in draft, so I'll click edit. Let's build this to product management and we're going to ship it to one of our warehouses. Once the item's saved and everything looks good, I can submit this for review. For the purposes of this demo, I've set myself as the approver. Once the item's approved, I have a new action here called order. When I click order, we bundle up all the information from the purchase order and send a CXML punch out file back to Amazon business to confirm the order. And that kicks off the Amazon fulfillment process. The last step in the punch out process typically involves the accounts payable team. Once Amazon receives the purchase order information, they start their fulfillment process. Once the items ship, a CXML file is sent back to state procurement containing invoice information. We take that invoice information, create a digital invoice and link it to the purchase order, as you can see here. I'm now logged in to state procurement as an accounts payable user where I can click this invoice. 
I can see that it's still in progress. And I can also see here that the match status is in progress as well. This status updates automatically once the items re are received. And we can confirm that what was ordered in the PO matches what was received by the requester or the warehouse team and matches what has been billed by Amazon. Once this item is approved, you can close out the invoice and that will be the end of the punch out process for this uh, purchase. So that wraps up our demo for today. If you'd like to learn more about our punch out solutions, visit our website at stavapps.com or contact us through the ServiceNow App Store to request a trial. We look forward to talking to you and have a great day.